And now for some breaking news. NFL schedule, it's being released tonight. Let's discuss. With the schedule being released tonight, it's important that you know how to buy those tickets, sell those tickets, and making sure that you have all the fun with those tickets. Let's get started. First off, schedule release date, like I mentioned many times already, May 12th, 2021, 8 p.m. It's going to be released on the NFL Network, on YouTube, on CBS, on every network you can possibly think of. Anywhere you want to go, you can find it. It's going to be a big deal. You already know who your team is going to be playing this year, but you don't know when and where. So it's important that, you know, you pay attention, 8 p.m., that's when it's all going to be dropped. Now, you may be thinking, this release, it's a bit uh, its a bit later than normal, and you wouldn't be wrong, because this year they actually had to push it back because of, you know, all the fun things that happened in 2020. They had to push back the release of the schedule by about a month, so it's being released, you know, second week of May. Normally, though, schedule is released, you know, second or third week of April. This year, though, obviously a little bit more different. And one more thing about differences. There's a new game this year. The NFL, they announced it's going to be a 17-game schedule this year, so there's a new additional opponent, and every team is super excited. So, how is the schedule actually put together? It's a very, very simple formula. So, first off, you have your divisional games. Within each division, four teams, so you're going to play everybody twice. Once at home, once away. All in all, six games. Done. Put on the board. Next up, you have a rotation between each of the different divisions within your conference, and you'll play each of them one time. So every year, each division will rotate between playing one of the other divisions within their conference, and so that's another four games. Put on the board. Next up, a rotation of non-conference divisional opponents. Same idea, you rotate between each of the different divisions within the opposite conference, another four games. Put on the board. Next up, same conference rankings. These ones are a bit more tricky, but we'll, we'll dive into it really quickly. Basically, if you've placed first in your division last year, you're going to play someone who also ranked first in their division last year as well. However, you're not going to be playing the same team that you're already divisionally matched up against. They'll be playing the first place team from one of the other two divisions that they haven't already matched up against this season. Same thing happens with the second place, third place, and fourth place teams. So you can have some very interesting and strange matchups going on every year. So that's another two games. Put it on the board. And lastly, we got our number 17, our lucky number 17th game. Brand new, completely different, absolutely amazing. We're getting our 17th game this year and it works the same way, but instead of within the same conference, it's going to the opposite conference. So if you have, you know, first place in the AFC North, what's going to happen then? You're going to be playing someone who is first place in one of the other divisions in the opposite conference. So AFC North, first place, you're going to be playing first place in one of the other NFC conferences. Again, not matched up against any of the teams that they're already matched up against for their cross-conference divisional matchups. And that brings us to our lucky number, 17. Put it on the board! As you can see, 17 games, a nice round number, but you know, works out pretty well. And that concludes scheduling news. So, you want to buy those tickets? 8 p.m. What do you got to know? You got two avenues. You got the official avenues and the unofficial avenues. Official, that includes Ticketmaster Plus, StubHub, and SeatGeek. The only three official places to buy those NFL tickets. If you want to buy them from the unofficial size, that includes the Vivid Seats and the Tick Picks and all the other randoms. They don't have direct barcode integration, but that's not a, it's not a problem. You're still getting your tickets sent out to you, mailed to you, transferred to you, and you're all good to go because Ticketmaster back in 2017, they actually released Ticketmaster Presence. They implemented this across all their different NFL stadiums and across a whole bunch of other venues as well, basically converting all these venues into fully digital venues. Anytime a ticket manifest is created, tickets are available to buy and sell, and those barcodes are changed in real time. Basically, every time you sell a ticket, the barcode will be invalidated, a new barcode will be generated, and Ticketmaster, they can track all the data. Sounds great, right? You know, just like Big Brother watching over you. Fantastic. However, if you want those tickets in hand immediately, you will be buying instant download tickets, and you can get them from Ticketmaster Plus, StubHub, and SeatGeek. Those are the three places where you can get instant tickets right away, 8 o'clock. Be there. Now, 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 I want to mention, Ticketmaster Plus, the only way tickets are listed there is by having your barcode set up. So if you are an NFL season seat holder and you want to sell some tickets, go check with your team how you can actually go ahead and get your barcodes ready. Because some teams, they require you to fully pay off your invoices before those barcodes are available to you. So once the schedule gets released, you find out there's some games you don't want to go to, you want to sell them off, you can go ahead and do that, but you can only do that immediately with instant download if you have those barcodes ready for you. If you don't have them ready for you, unfortunately, Ticketmaster Plus, Ticketmaster Resale, that's not an avenue for you. You got to go through the StubHub, SeatGeeks, and the others. Not necessarily the worst case. However, you will find that tickets will normally sell faster when you do have instant download enabled. 
So again, if you have your barcodes ready, get them uploaded right away. If you don't have them ready, SeatGeek and StuffHub, they won't require it from you immediately, but they will require it pretty soon as we approach the start of the season. From the unofficial avenues, the Vivid Seats, the Tick Picks, and the others, because they don't have barcode integration, it doesn't matter as much. You can go ahead, get your tickets listed over there, and set them up as mobile transfer. Not too big of a deal. If you are a buyer and you want to buy those tickets, that's fine as well. Again, once tickets are transferred over to you, they will be 100% valid, nothing to worry about. And if you are a little a little bit concerned, you can go ahead and always double check the barcodes once you receive the tickets. Check them on the stub hubs and the seat geeks and the Ticketmaster resale. Take a look, make sure that the barcodes are indeed valid and you're good to go. But again, the risk basically 0%. When you're buying tickets from the NFL, because of Ticketmaster presence, they are basically saying anytime you buy a ticket, you know exactly what you're going to get. Nothing to worry about. Lastly, if you're buying individual games from the NFL and you want to get those tickets right away, again, buy them on the StubHub, the SeatGeeks, the Ticketmaster resale, and you get all those links down below. Go ahead, take a look. You can go ahead, start buying those tickets right away. Get them in your pockets. Get ready for the NFL season because it's going to be a Doozy. This season, NFL is currently planning to have 100% capacity at all events. So when you're buying those tickets, remember, this may change because of all the things that are happening in the world. So just keep that in mind as you're going ahead and buying those tickets. Last, 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 last thing I want to mention. If you do want to save a few dollars, you can go ahead, sign up and buy tickets through Rakuten. You can take a look again, link down below in the description. Go ahead there, save a few dollars on cashback with Ticketmaster purchases, StubHub purchases, and the like. And if it's your first time signing up for Rakuten as well, you can also get an additional bonus, get some extra free money, and everybody loves free money. Anyway, that's all we got for today. If you like this video, definitely let me know by hitting the like button down below. Also, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Great new content coming out all the time. And see you guys next time.